Hello, hi Jumbo, habari yenu. Welcome to Baraka Reality Media, the number one UK diaspora online media. Here we do nothing else but real life, real issues and real talks to inspire, inform and impact. My name is Sharon aka Wabaraka and I am your host. If you are new here, karibu sana! <laughs> we love visitors and we love welcoming visitors. So please take a seat and make yourself comfortable. Feel at home. Welcome to this family. If you are a returning subscriber again, thank you very much. I keep telling you, you are the reason why I keep coming back to bring you more and more content. If you have been watching my videos and you have not subscribed, please do not go beyond this point before you subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first one to be reminded or to be notified. Now I'm going to give you one minute to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and thank you very much for everyone that has been subscribing and joining this family. I am truly, truly humbled. If you haven't, I'm going to give you one minute so that you can subscribe and then we're going to continue with this interesting topic. I'll be back. <laughs> welcome back so let's continue with this topic now my topic is and this is a question that I have been asked why do people go to diaspora and when they come to visit I'm going to use again Kenya as an example why are people losing their accent when they go to diaspora countries what is going on what is happening now I'm going to answer that question in two parts. I'm going to answer that question based on if you relocate to diaspora as a child and if you relocate to diaspora as an adult because there is differences there. Now, the reason why the children, let's start with children, change their accent. Number one is because they move to those diaspora countries and the only accent that surrounds them is the accent of the country that they have moved to. So they go to school they have friends and all the people that are surrounding them in the community that they live have a different accent and children pick accents very very easily it can be a matter of one year or even less than one year and that child can change the accent and you'll be wondering because they change their accent completely and that is not a an abnormal thing it's not unusual nasi kujifanya that is the true self of that child it is good when they have adopted that accent especially if they were born abroad because they then fit in with the culture of the countries that they have moved to i think it would be really difficult for that child if that child cannot be able to communicate with their friends in uh, an, a, an accent of the country where they have lived or they have moved to because they will be picked up on if they don't change their accent there's a lot of bullying in schools that go on hidden sometimes and you don't want your child to be picked up because they've got an accent that they've not been able to change now that is for children and again children change their accent very very quickly they adapt to new places very very quickly the younger they are the quicker they change their accent and that is normal accent <laughs> so quickly that is very very normal now let's come to adults if you relocate into a different country as an adult it's usually very hard for an adult to change their accent but what you do as an adult is you try to twist your tongue so that when you're communicating with the people of the land that you have moved to they can understand you why how ataku understand you will become frustrated because each time you speak you'll be asked what excuse me pardon me and it, it can become quite frustrating because if you don't try and speak like the 
people, the natives of the land that you were, you are the one that is going to feel the frustration. So you find that a lot of adults try and change, that is for lack of a better word, but they try to switch their accent so that they can be understood by the natives of the land where they have moved to. So so you find that the more you continue speaking, the more that your tongue is getting used to that accent. For example, you move to America. Let's use America this time. You move to America and in America, they call water water. You've come from Kenya and you, you're used to calling water, water. You carry on saying water. People will be looking at you strangely. Like, what are you trying to say here? So the sooner you adapt and start saying water, water all the time, you find that you're making life easier for yourself and you're not becoming frustrated. If you carry on speaking like that and then you go to Kenya for a holiday, because it's something that it's already engraved in you, you will not be remembering to say water when you go to Kenya. You just be saying water because that's what you're used to. That's what your tongue is used to. In uh, America, they don't have a T. It's a la la, a la. So Peter, Peter. And if you go to Kenya and you say Peter, they'll be like, "Oh, na jifanya aji sasa na yo accent." Na siyo kujifanya. You know, it's because now you are already used to because you have been training your mind your brain your tongue to speak like the natives of the of the country where you have moved to again if you move to a different part of the world it depends on wherever that you have relocated to you easily pick up the accent of that place so when you go back for a holiday in your country of origin they might think you're pretending they might think you're you've lost your morals you've lost your culture and now you are adapting to the new land that you have gone to you've adapted to their ways of living their ways of talking and that kind of thing but the reality is that is not so it's only because you want to fit in and you want not to be frustrated when you're doing work when you're when you're yeah, because you will work with these people all the time. And if you don't understand them, they will not understand you. Then, you know, it, it becomes a bit frustrating. So that's the reason why. And uh, for me, how I normally tend to keep my, my original accent or keep my culture is when I am at home, I try to keep the language, the, the, my cultural language at home. Now that can be very difficult if you have children because remember you're raising children who have a different accent. By the way, let me just tell you something that is quite funny. Do you know, our watoto, they pick up the accent Alafu, wanaezata kukusengenya when you're sat there and you will not know. Then they'll be sat, sat there laughing and giggling and you'll be wondering, why is everybody laughing in this house? Have I said anything funny? Kumbe ni kukuchekelewa na kuchekelea kusababu wewe haunyiti, haushiki. But them, they're enjoying you. Giving a good example, for those who are in Kenya, there is something called sheng. Ukiongea sheng in front of your parents, me, that's what we did when I was younger, our parents never understood us when we were speaking that sheng. Tulikuwa tunawasengenya na hako wana understand. Now that is exactly what happens with these children when they are with their friends, even their siblings in the house. Wanaweza waka kusengenya. They are using that accent of the countries that they are and you will not understand them. Hiyo ni kawaida. So you have to train yourself to understand them so that they're not saying things behind your back that you're not understanding and then they're laughing and giggling and you're sitting there feeling lost or even feeling uh, looking like an idiot <laughs> because you cannot even understand your own children <laughs> so that's the reason why people change their accent nasio kujifanya i don't want you to go thinking hawa watoto hawa watu wanajifanya ma watoto wamekuja hapa wanajifanya at they just left here a year ago and now they can't even speak proper english like they used to speak no that is very very normal and it does happen if you 
come to study, if you come to work in whichever way you relocate, live and work, live, study and work, in whichever way you relocate, you will find that there's going to be a slight change of your accent and you'll be picking up the accent of the country, the diaspora countries that you relocate to. And you know, by the way, talking of accents, it's different in every city that you live. So again, let me give an example with the UK because this is where I am. So we live in Manchester by now, you know that. If we go to like London or London, as I say it, they've got a different accent. They speak very differently down there. And if you go to a place like Birmingham, again, the accent is different. If you go to Wales, Scotland, it's even different, very, very different. So this maneno of accent, varies depending on the area that you are living purely because you live in the uk does not mean that everyone is going to speak the same people adapt the accent of the area where they live and that is what you normally tend to pick on so you see if you move to a different country again i'm sure there are different cities or different towns within the country that you have moved to you tend to pick the accent of the area where you live and that is the difference i know like when we've gone to visit america with my with my family the children our children accent is normally picked up by the american kids you know when they are playing together they normally ask them where have you got the accent from and ours will also tell them you know we're from england that kind of thing um so and th the other thing <laughs> i think this is a video by itself the other thing that people don't understand is you say you're going to the uk and everybody thinks london is the uk so you'll be saying oh you come from london and they'll be like no we don't come from London, we come from Manchester because a lot of people when you say UK automatically think that you come from London, London as they say. <laughs> I do know I can never even speak the, the, the London accent myself. It's really, really different. They've got, oh, what do they call it now? Um, I've forgotten, but they have a word for it. Yeah, so it's very, very different from the Northern accent. It's different from even the Welsh, the Scottish accent is very, very, very deep. In fact, people from Wales and Scotland, if they speak, you wouldn't even think they're speaking English. They speak some funny accent. Well, to me, it sounds funny. And that's, I guess, how it sounds funny to you because you're not used to that kind of accent. So anything that is not what you're used to, you will find that sounding funny so i find the scottish and the welsh accent really really deep and i struggle to understand i have to pay a lot of attention to hear what it is they are saying so you see it's not an abnormal thing accent is very normal depending on where you are where you're living where you're relocating to so that is a question i wanted to answer because somebody asked me why why mbona wanajifanya ngaivo and some people we know they have lived for a long time and they have not lost their accent they've not lost their culture everyone has their way of keeping that tradition or keeping their culture it all varies it all depends people move here and others get married to the locals so i would not expect that you're going to be speaking your local language to your spouse if your spouse is from a different country again that's another reason to um, change your accent and for your accent not to remain the same as it was when you left your country of origin so that's it for now i hope you understand and i hope you're not going to be hard on people that have relocated to other countries please try to understand them when they come with with a funny accent well if you find it funny please try to understand them they have learned to change to adapt their way of language their way of speaking so that they don't get frustrated in the countries that they have relocated to i'm going to end this video now it was only a short video today and if you have not subscribed again i'm going to remind you please subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends for now guys it's a wrap and we say baraka Oh, I need.